Okay, here's some sausage for you, Derek. Thank you. And some for you, Jimmy. No, thanks, Mom. I decided to go vegetarian. How come? We learned in school where meat comes from. All these years, I thought pigs made the sausage. <laughs> I didn't know they were the sausage. You want to be a vegetarian? That's fine with me. Mm. I can't take it anymore. Give me that sausage. Way to stick to your guns, brother. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's the stuff. I just took the weakest shower of my life. There's absolutely no water pressure in our bathroom. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Baby, when I turn on the water, I want pain. I want to feel like my body's being punched, like I'm in the shower with Mike Tyson. <laughs> uh, that didn't come out right. You should take baths like I do. It's so relaxing. Grown men don't take baths unless they're injured or Turkish. Every time I take a shower, Somebody flushes the toilet and I get scalded. That's funny. Every time I flush the toilet, somebody screams. Why don't we call the soup and get something done about it? Uh, by we, do you mean me? No, but if you're offering it, jump on it, baby. Tracy, just call the super and have him take care of it. He doesn't listen to me. I've called him this month about the drip under the sink and the window we cannot open. Don't forget the ghost. We don't have a ghost. Yeah, we do. Sometimes late at night, I hear him in your bedroom. Ah, talk to the super about the ghost. Yeah, I keep telling that ghost to be quiet. Dum, dum, Come dum, on, dum, man. Dum, dum, I grew up on the dum, wrong side of town. Dum, dum, All my life, people putting me down. Dum, dum, Had a dream about dum, being a king, dum, so I work real hard. Now I'm doing my thing. Dum, love yeah. my wife and I love my yeah. kids. Come on, man. Don't want to see him struggle like I did. I guess now and then the sun do shine. And I hope you love your life, because, man, I'm loving mine. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's right. This is the biggest damn coupon book I've ever seen in my life, Spoon. Where do you get this monstrosity? Oh, some juvenile delinquent. Raising money for some untraceable charity. I buy one every year, and I use every single coupon. You know, Spoon, the problem with those coupons are you end up getting a bunch of junk you don't ever use. So actually, you're losing money. <laughs> oh, really, Bernard? <laughs> Tell me, how am I losing money when I get half off on my second parachute jump, huh? Tell me, huh? I've had it with the soup of my building. He's been dodging my calls all week. Tonight, I'm going down there, I'm gonna lay into him. Oh, Tracy, that's crazy talk. You don't ever want to anger your superintendent. He's the god of your building. What are you talking about? He can make it cold, he can make it hot. He can give you light or leave you in the darkness. I'll tell you what I do. My super happens to be a semi-attractive woman. When something needs to be fixed, <laughs> I make her feel like a very attractive woman. So why don't you come to my building and make my super feel like a very attractive man? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tracy Mitchell from 2B? I know you. You live upstairs. You got like nine kids, and they all yell. <laughs> I came by because I wanted you to know I appreciate all the hard work you do around here. A lot of supers wouldn't think of keeping the Christmas decorations up all year long. <laughs> but you, <laughs> you keep us jolly in July. <laughs> For you? Oh, thanks. Jeez, how'd you know? I was just thinking I could use more fruit. <laughs> Look, Miss Albano, I got a lot of things around my apartment that aren't working. I would appreciate if you could swing by and check them out. Yeah, and I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't come knocking on my door without calling first. I mean, what would you say if I suddenly showed up at your place? I'd say, come on in, the shower's over there. Look, I'll get to you as soon as I can, all right? But I got a mouse loose on the third floor and an unexplained stink in the elevator. Later, Dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going out. You gotta finish your math homework. I'm done with my math homework. Let me see it. Okay, so I'm not done with my math homework. 
Well, what's the point? I'm just gonna fail anyway. Get in here. Fine. I'll set off my bottle rockets in here. <laughs> so, your son's having a problem with math, huh? No, no, I mean, he can add in stuff. It's just that now they're throwing lines and circles at him. I think I know a way I can help you. Oh, yeah? How? My son Derek, he's a math genius. If you come to my apartment and fix what needs to be fixed, I can arrange for my son to tutor yours. You got yourself a deal, Mitchell. <laughs> Moron! Bobby! Ow! Oh, damn it! You want me to tutor Bobby Obano? Oh, come on, Derek. Math is a piece of cake for you. I'm just asking you to take a little piece of that cake and shove it down his throat. I can't stand him. He's obnoxious and loud. He's always causing trouble. He pours salt on snails, which as a born-again vegetarian, I now think is wrong. <laughs> Tracy, the kid, is a troublemaker. I heard he was the one who put super glue on elevator buttons. So it's because of him I don't have a fingerprint on my pinky? You press the elevator buttons with your pinky? Of course I do. Everybody presses the elevator buttons with their pinky. Don't they? <laughs> Come on, it ain't just me. Look, Tracy, I don't like the idea of bringing Bobby into this house. Maybe if we do this favor for the super, everything that's broken in this apartment will get fixed. Or do you like the sound of that toilet running all night? Derek, you're helping that nice boy. <laughs> nice? The kid's a jerk! Listen, if you don't want to do this one simple favor for your mother and your father, then I'm not going to force you. <laughs> all right, fine, I'll do it. Thank you, I'll call them. Oh, look, they're here. <laughs> Excuse me? You don't ever have to open a door for me, Mitchell. I got keys. <laughs> but hey, I only use them in an emergency. Or if you're out of town and we want to watch cable. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you after all this time, Mr. Albano. Let me show you around the apartment. It looks just like yours, except everything's broken. <laughs> So, Bobby, Derek's excited to help you with your mathematics. Whoa, I was hoping for a girl tutor. You don't have a sister, do you? Sorry, Jimmy's all I got. Hey, no, you. What's up, shorty? <laughs> Nothing. What's up with you, fatso? <laughs> hey. Hey, listen, thanks for doing my math homework last night. I didn't do your homework. I helped you do it. Yeah, whatever helps you sleep. <laughs> what are you doing now? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm going through people's mail. You can't do that. That's a federal offense. How many people do you think are doing time for stealing a Sports Illustrated? <laughs> Here, learn something about fishing. <laughs> do you do this all the time? When I'm not volunteering at the hospital. <laughs> Check it out. Mr. Miller's Viagra. Now what are you doing? Take a few pills to the park, feed them to the dogs. And it gets crazy. <laughs> can't believe you have the key to people's mailboxes. I have the keys to a lot of things. Tater chips, you can't just have one. Mm -mm. Jim, why aren't you eating your burger? I've already told you, I've decided to be a vegetarian. <laughs> Except for sausage. Well, if you won't eat your burger, I will. Don't you touch my burger. No, don't get up, I'll get it. <laughs> Kathy, what's going on? We've got a big problem here. When I got home, your son and his friend were in my apartment. What? What were you doing in her apartment? Bobby's got a pass key. Hey, I was just trying to help. I thought I smelled gas. You were going through my underwear drawer. I was being thorough. <laughs> Derek, I can't believe this. Kathy, I am so sorry. He has never done anything like this. We'll take care of him. Get your butt in here. Good. I'm going to take this one downstairs and let his father deal with him. Great. And when you're talking to Mr. Obama, could you tell him that I heard the ghost in my parents' bedroom again? <laughs> Last night, he was really loud. 